Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Chick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Chick. That's Adam Crawford, Mr. 30. That's Carter Reed Exner. And we are doing a one versus one versus one today with our top three walleyes total inches. I've got a head camera on Adam. I've got a GoPro camera on Carter. I'm gonna to try to run all the cameras plus fish. I'm probably gonna come in a solid third because I'm gonna be changing camera batteries more likely the whole thing, but I don't care. I gotta hang out with my two buddies and we gotta to try to put some big walleyes top side. One versus one versus one. Let's do it. Okay, boys, you guys go whenever you want. We should have just held out one shelter and sat three of us in it all day. Would have been funny. Actually, probably would have been fun. I wouldn't even have to fish. I'll just sit in the middle and hang out. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. That fish slammed it. That was big. Lose one? Yeah. That was always next year, Adam. We're good. One versus one versus one. I'm going to smoke you boys today. I'm getting 90 inches. I think the only thing you're going to be smoking is that fish and that grill later, Clay. Oh, we're cooking fish up today. Like 100% cooking fish today. I'm kind of excited. I brought four walleyes. I'm getting 96 inches. 96? Yeah. Whew. You got 96 inches? And uh, I'll I'll pay for your next month's bills at home. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, boys. This is not a Cisco. This is not a Cisco. It's going to be an eater walleye, but it's going to be where it's going to be the first one of the day. Get up here. Get up here. Yeah. Takes the lead. Early lead. CSO. Hammered that spoon. It's gone. CSO is on the board with a 20 and three quarter, 20 and three quarter incher going back. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Come on. Oh, come up at it and just didn't eat. Here it comes, got him. Oh boy, CSO is on fire. Like I said, probably the only lead we're gonna have today. This one's bigger than the last one, for sure. It's not huge, but it's gonna be a, a good fish right now, probably. Oh, is it hooked funny, maybe? It's not huge. It's not huge, a little bigger than the last one, not much. Come on, get in here. Oh, that spoon is inhaled, gone. Easy. Okay, okay, okay. No! What happened? That giant mark. Oh no, Carter. Curtis had a giant mark. Okay, fish two, 23 and a half. Fish number two, 23 and a half. Sounds like Carter had a big mark come at him too. Oh boy, we're on. There's somebody sitting on a chair there over at him that wants to beat both of us really bad, I'm sure. This is the last word I'm saying all day. Oh, big mark, big mark. Oh, what's going on? My drag just slipped. I got him though, I got him. My, I don't know how good the hook set was because my drag slipped. Looked decent, definitely looked decent. Oh boy. It's so, it's can't tell, it's not small. It's not small, it's not huge, but it's, it's a nice one. It's mid 20s. Easy, easy. Like I said, I don't know how good the hook set hook is in them. This one's just hooked in the top of the mouth. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We got her, we got her. That's a gooder. Yes, this Castmaster gold hammered. Oh baby, I'll show it off first and then I'll measure it, but that's a gooder. I'm thinking 26-ish, probably my biggest one of the year. Okay, what do we got? No, a little bit bigger, 20, 26 and three quarter. Okay, one more quick glance and going back. Good start for CSO. Three eighths ounce gold Castmaster hammered. I'm not sure if this hammered color is new for this year, but boom, three quick ones. Oh, 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 oh. 
uh, maybe smaller. This one's an eater, I'd say. This one won't even register for me. This one's my this is the smallest of the day, but an eater. Plan on cooking some fish on the ice today, and this guy right here is gonna be one of those fish. It's a walleye. I would just throw that one back. It's pretty tough, small tough cutter. 19 and a half. Oh, -ho, Carter's on the board. Woo. Hooked up here. Nice mark. Nice mark. Gonna try and keep this one buttoned up here. Get this guy out of the way. Nothing too crazy, but it's going to get Team Mr. 30 on the board here. Fingers crossed. That's ah, nothing crazy. It's, it's a fish, though. A good one for you, right? Decent. All Ma that heckling from CSO. Maybe not in last anymore? Not in last. 20 and 3 quarter. Just a tank. How big? 20 and 3 quarter. Smell you later. Oh yeah, come on. Come back here. Oh, on the right on the bottom. Not very big though. Probably another, probably another eater. Oh, this one has uh, got some, lots of uh, stuff going on with them. I think my smallest is like 20 and three quarters. I might measure this one just to see, just to see. Oh, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't measure him. Nope. Guess he's turning around. Might have been a little bit bigger than my 20 and three quarter, maybe, but we're we need to we need to upsize that one yet. Like it they're just popping up, so they're not coming for deep or shallow, they're cruising. Running the bank? Yeah. That's what we figured yesterday. There's one ate me right in the mud again. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Getting crazy. Adam's making a comeback. Got sick of clay talking, talking trash up in my way. There's nothing wrong with second place, Adam. <laughs> Got the bump board ready here this time. Maybe the same size as that last one, maybe a, sh sh a little bigger here if I get this baby up the hole. Come on, there we go. Kind of cookie cutter. 21 and a half. Oh, oh, oh. 21 and a half. Look at the colors on that wart. See you, buddy. Big, big. Big, Carter? I think so. Nice head shakes. Yeah, this is big. Huge. Huge? Carter's got a big one. Oh yeah, nice buddy. I'll come over for you. It's a fat one, hey? Holy. 28. 28? a boy. Show him off to me real quick. Carter smashes a 28. a boy. Amazing. That's so, that's so good. So good. Nice job, buddy. Even though it's competition, I'm pumped for you. Right on. No bait. No oh, bait. What'd you, what'd you catch it on? Oh, the dinner bell. The big one. The big one? Oh, fish coming on the left here. Oh, it looks decent. Looks, looks good. Looks good. Get over here. Come on, buddy. Get over here. It's, it's still coming up the bank. Come on. It ate it. Yep. That's the one that was coming up off the bank. I don't think it's very big, but couldn't tell. It was just so tight to the bottom. 
All I could see was just something sleeking down there. An eater, an eater. Just a, a 19 going back. Well, Adam, thank you for coming out yesterday and doing the homework. Oh, I got something going on down here. Oh yeah, come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Uh, I think another, another eater. They're moving tight on that bottom right now. Love it. Love it. Well, a little bit of an upgrade to 21 and a quarter. Okay, well not a huge upgrade, but a little bit for us. Lots of Cisco's around right now. Oh, that one doesn't look like a Cisco though. That looks like a walleye there. Yep, that's a walleye. Um, it's not small. It's not small. It's gonna be a, if I get this one in, it will be an upgrade. Oh yeah, that's a gooder. That's a gooder. That's a gooder. That's a gooder. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. That long rod is so nice for this. Come on. Oh, it's got that spoon choked. Nice. That's a gooder right there. Oh, I just splashed my camera. Beautiful. Not the best sun angle right now. Apologize. That's a nice one. 26 and a quarter. It sure looks bigger than 26 and a quarter, but I will take it. See ya. Oh yeah, the life. I don't mind these chairs because you can actually like get up quick. It's nice of you guys to let me hold the lead early so when I start to cook and mess around, I don't feel so bad that I'm behind. This is good. I need to still get a third fish, useless. You just need your third one to be your kicker, your 30 incher. Yeah, exactly. That one I lost this morning. Carter smokes a 30 incher, he's got a, oh, oh. A 30 and a 28. <laughs> Pressure will be on to get a 25 incher to go with it. He's coming up. I'll get him. He's coming up. He's on again. He's on again. again? I'm not touching that transducer. <laughs> Do you want me to come get it? Big? Small? Oh, hasn't really ran yet. He's swimming at me. Pike. It's a pike. That's nah, not that big. It's an upgrade maybe, but... No, it's uh, your third fish? Yeah, my third one. Kind of a cookie cutter again. I got myself here another uh, 21 and a quarter. 21 and a quarter. Well, that'll put you in second place right now, Adam. <sighs> Running about... Nice. 60-ish inches. I'm, but, I'm happy for you, Adam. That thank is, you. That is just 21. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I'm on, but it's small. I think this is Adam's fish. They're just choking these spoons. Well, it's not a, it won't be an upgrade for me, so we'll just fire nice back. fish for you, Clay. Adam, that fish would be a, a, an upgrade for you. Told you, I'm an afternoon. I'm more worried about Carter than I am you right now, Adam. <laughs> Why? You're all, all your fish are like smaller than 23 inches. I know, I need to make a move. You need, you need, uh, you need to replace all your fish, Adam. Pretty much. Carter's got one, he's got a, he's got a good score fish already. Adam thinks he's gonna beat me. This will be his third registered fish. Let's call it 18. Well, everybody's got three fish registered. I'm in the lead right here with this total. We'll put it there. And then we got Adam and we got Carter. I don't know what all the totals are. I left my phone in my truck, so I'm not keeping track of anything like that. I'm just gonna kind of keep track as I'm editing everything later. But so far, CSO is in the lead. And he's on. Looks small. Looks small, feels small. It's probably gonna be small. It's actually not, not tiny, tiny. 
Look at that. Watch them dance down there. 21 and 3 quarter. Seems like that's what I'm catching today. I got one good bite earlier. Missed it. Well, about midday. Don't have the best sun angle right now, but I brought a bunch of walleye from home. Now we're gonna cook up for the boys. Gonna surprise them. I guess they kind of knew I told them I was gonna cook them lunch today, but we're gonna cook up some fish right on the ice. I'm gonna get a little bit of water in here just to kind of give the fish some moisture. Spicy catch and cook. I got a fryer behind me here, which I'm trying to keep it out of the wind a little bit, but we're gonna cook them up some, some walleye on the ice. A little bit of a, a warm meal, just to make things go better today. This is what I'm using to cook with instead of uh, canola oil or butter. This is beef tallow. I got it from Big Smoke Barbecue. I've messed around with it a little bit at home. It's so good. It just got a little bit higher cooking heat temperature where it doesn't burn on you and the flavor of the fish has just been so good. So I highly recommend cooking fish in this. It's called beef tallow. It's rendered down beef fat, basically. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nothing like, nothing like catching fish as you're trying to cook here. I don't think it's going to be an upgrade for me because I think my smallest is like a 23 incher right now. I won't measure them. I won't show or I won't even uh, do anything with them. We'll just get them back because we are trying to cook. Gotta be able to smell that, hey? Oh, Adam's on. Oh boy, what do you got? I'm hoping, it, I'm hoping it's a fish and a big one. Big one? I don't know. Look at this. Cooking, catching. Ah! Oh no! Way the road. As much as I want to win the competition, I don't want to see that. That's pain. Oh, 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 oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Got him. Nice. This whole cooking and catching fish at the same time is great. And I will say, Hey, these knee pads on this roughneck suit is pretty nice. Oh, that might be an upgrade for me. I've got, I got gloves, I've got batteries in my hands. Say so this, the knee pads on this roughneck suit are so nice. 23 incher. Okay, 23 inches, we'll get it back quick because it's a little bit cold out right now. Oh, you. Don't get mad, Clayton. Don't get mad. Carter, if you don't have any fish, come grab a plate and a fork here as I dish you up. This might be an upgrade if I can land it. No. Is that the same size? Same size. Not an upgrade. It's 19 incher. Squirmy. You bro. In about five minutes, you're gonna have yeah. some fresh fish in your belly. Can't wait, man. Can you smell it? <laughs> oh yeah, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I use for the batter today. Catch and cook, spicy. And all they do is just put a tiny, tiny bit of water in that bag just to kind of moisten, moisten the fillets and then cooking it up in the beef tallow. As soon as it's half size done, flip it over. Oh yeah, looking good plan to do a lot more cooking and videos in the future this right now is just one outside super basic but I'm gonna try to do a more relaxed focus for some of my videos this year where I go out catch some fish cooking in the shelter as I'm fishing at the same time what's coming up here behind it though no other just another eater another eater Just an eater. He's lucky he doesn't go right in the frying pan. Ah, he's a little too big to eat. Had two fish come in and second one committed. After I'm done cooking here, I'll get a little better camera angle here with the sun, but probably about a 21-ish. 
going back. Fish was the fish okay? Oh yeah. Yeah, good. Adam, fish okay? Deadly man. Perfect. So good. Beats a cold sandwich on the ice, hey? One hundred percent. Oh come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Up high. Up high. Come on. No, he went. Well, it's not huge. It's just a nice fish. It's not huge. It's not huge. Come on. But I like setting hooks. Come on. Got him. <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. I love crushing walleyes at first ice. Something about that straight up and down vertical hook set. Oh, that's bigger than I thought. That's definitely bigger than I thought. That is bigger than I expected it to be. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. That spoon is inhaled, inhaled. Oh, come here, come here, come here. I'm gonna lose him, I'm gonna lose him. Okay, we got him, we got him. Oh, spoon just gone. Absolutely inhaled. Measure them quick and then show them off. We got a beautiful 25 and three quarter. A super fat 25 and three quarter. So fat. Oh, those fish are built like absolute tanks. So much fun. And there she goes. Boom. Boy's not looking good for you. Smallest fish right now is 25 and three quarter. CS Ho is taking it home. I think, you're, I think he's cheating, Carter. Cheat to win. If you ain't cheating, you ain't competing. Well, a little midday update. The weather is finally starting to get a little bit warmer. Keeping GoPro camera batteries has been a challenge, but so far, We've managed. It's easy to keep the camera going on Carter because I've got it plugged in direct, but Adam and I are both are running head cameras and that's been a little bit more of a challenge, but I don't think I've missed anything important yet. It's been good. I'm getting to that time of the day where I gotta sw start swapping some memory cards, some batteries and whatnot. But right now, I think the way it stands, I'm in the lead with this much. Carter's right there and then Adam's right here, but we know Mr. 30 can come in huge at any given time so so far it's been fun the fresh fish wasn't fresh i guess it was a it was a, a day or two old but it was on ice so it was it was fresh in that sense it was really good hit the spot warmed a person up spicy catch and cook and then just hopefully we get some kind of little evening flurry here it's been a little bit slower here for the last hour ish but fingers crossed it could still happen oh what is this what is this? This is up higher. Come on. This mark was up higher. Might be decent, not huge, but not small. This one was up high, like probably a good five, six feet off the bottom. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. Yeah, come on, baby. Steak button. Stay buttoned. That thing was up high, suspended. Oh, easy, easy girl. Easy, 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 easy. Oh, stay buttoned, stay buttoned. It's a big one, it's a big one. Not, not like giant, but probably north of 28, 28, 29. Beautiful fish, oh, that's a gooder. That's a gooder, oh, it's big, it's big, it's big. Oh, come on, come on. Turn, turn. Oh, this is so nerve wracking at the hole. It's, the hook's buried though. Oh, it ate the whole thing. Oh, that's a big one. Yes! Yes! Big one, baby. Oh, it could be close to 30. That's a bigger. Oh, tank. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's a big fish. Yeah, that's a tank. 
touches 30 inches right there. Want to verify, Carter Reed? Touches 30 right That's there. That's 30. That's 30 inches, baby. Dirty 30. I'm knocking away and I'm fishing outside. It's north of 10 pounds though, for sure. Kick that tail out, girl. Oh, yes. That's a big fish. Scored a dirty 30. My slump is finally broken. Oh, unbelievable. Yeah, it was suspended. See ya. Oh, hey. Nice, buddy. Still using that same 3 8 ounce Castmaster. Even the walleye, I'm going to check that line right there. Yeah, so there's a light, slight little fray right there. Pay attention to that because there's a little tiny fray there. We're going to, we're going to retie that. Even with walleye got sharp teeth, right? Like they can, they, they can nick that line pretty easy with their, uh, when the hook's down there, throw it that far. Doesn't take much. Is he going to break it off? Probably not. But the next fish though, like could easily just pop. I thought it was going to break. That was going to be cool on video, but it didn't break. But we are going to retie though. Carter's going to make a move behind me here, which I'm all about. At this point of the day, like even though it's a competition, I honestly just want everybody to catch a bunch of nice fish. I'd much rather see him catch that fish. But at the same time, it's like you're all you're all together fishing. It's 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 cool no matter who catches it, as long as somebody catches something when you're out there. And it's been honestly a great day. Like a 30, a 28, a couple 26s. Adam will probably catch a 32 yet. That that's my prediction. Mr. 30 is going to step up. We're going to be calling him Mr. 32. I've got a root beer in the fridge that says I can't drink it until I get a 30 incher. We're all three fishing running gun Vanta Blacks. The, oh, yeah. Yeah. The best. Well, having a little time out with my, my buddy, my boy, Mr. 30, because I haven't had his face on camera yet today. It's all been his head camera. But he's been grinding hard, like I said earlier, with the running gun. It's the rod I've used all day. I do have a dead stick set up though. And Carter's used that rod for the most part too. It's such a good rod when you're fishing outside. And bait of choice so far? Which one the bait you use uh, the most? What is it? Little spoon, uh, little Cleo. Oh, little Cleo. What color? Uh, white. I don't know if he's telling the truth, but nobody, hey, we're gonna have to, will know. We're gonna, we're gonna have to take his word for it. <laughs> a white little Cleo. Do you know size? Uh, I don't know, 16th maybe. Oh, a tiny one. Little guy. Adam's gone small, downsize. It hasn't been very good for me. Missed a couple of key bites. That would have helped out my inches. But uh, it ain't over yet, know. though. No, it's it ain't not over yet. yet. It's just how it goes, though, in the old game ice fishing. The game ice. I owe him a dirty beatdown after the small the smallies <laughs> last year. He took me to school on the smallies, so. Goes around, all around. <laughs> just remember, Leahy, what comes around is all around. Don't you mean what's all around comes around, Ricky? <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, back to my hole. Let's fish a little bit, and then we'll go do an interview with Carter Reed as well. Oh, come on. This is a walleye. This is a walleye. This is not a Cisco. This is a walleye. Oh, denied? I really got denied? Oh, no, he's coming back. He's coming back. He's not that big, though. But I got him. I'm just not getting denied today, Adam. Yeah, it's unreal. It's been good. He's definitely not an upgrade, but it is a nice fish as we're getting into our prime time hours. Hopefully, hopefully we get a hot prime time bite. Not that it hasn't been hot for me. I've had a great day. Just another beautiful specimen. Back down. I brought six or seven rods with me today. Baits tied up. Everything right. Just like, oh, I'm going to switch to this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do all this stuff. Different rods. And uh, I've just stayed at the same program all day. Pounding the bottom lots when I'm not marking fish. Hoping that something in the distance will, will see my spoon just making a bunch of disturbance down there. And then... When a fish comes today, mostly it's been bringing them and coaxing them up off the bottom. Some days you get them where they eat it right off of the, in the dirt. And today it seems like we can draw them over by pounding in the dirt, but most of them are coming up high with it. It all, it changes day to day.
big. Big? I think so. I just got a big fish, which excites me so much. I'd rather see him catch big fish than me. Got him, you got him, you got him, you got him. Look at that growth. That's a nice fish. Not huge. No, it's not huge, but it's a nice fish though. 25 and a half. Nice. Show it off this camera real quick, just right. Carter with a beautiful 25 and a half. my rod? Yep. That a boy. Nice. Good job, buddy. Good job. Okay, that's a big upgrade. No! That was big. Big. Yeah? Yeah. Had a boy. No way, like I, oh. Oh. I've lost so many fish. It, it happens. Oh my, oh my. Oh my. Keep them buttoned, keep them buttoned. This is giant. Take your time, take your time. Get here, get here, get here. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh my God, please. Okay, take your time, take your time. Take your time, just go, yeah, slow, slowly, slow. Take your time, take your time, take your time. When his head gets past, then you swing him up slow. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him, you grab him. That's a giant. Oh yeah, boy. <laughs> I'm so pumped for you because you've had a tougher goal with losing some. <laughs> He's shaking. Oh, Carter. That is amazing. Pull him up. Show him off quick. 29 and a half. You're good. 29 and a half. Beautiful fish, Carter. That a boy. Okay. Back in. Gold. Gorgeous fish. She was bleeding a little bit, but that cold water will coagulate everything. Carter, you're one fish away from beating me. Literally, literally, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty excited for him, 29 and a half. That's a big, big wall. He's got, he's got a 28 and a 29 and a half and a 25, which means, which means we might, am I, I don't even know what we're at right now. I might be losing, but I, I don't care if I'm losing. I want him to catch good fish and have a good day. The competition is honestly just like a way to make it more enjoyable for us fishing throughout the day just to have some fun more than anything but he had a tougher go with losing a couple big fish today and i think his confidence was getting pretty low so i was a little bit nervous with dealing with that fish at the hole because it was like his confidence level is low after losing all those fish he probably dropped two or three big fish if, if those boys start smacking over there adam went over there where carter was i'm just fine even taking the camera over there and just going to film the whole show. Fingers crossed they get him. Oh, what's going on here? This doesn't look bad. There we go. There we go. Uh, not huge. Not huge. Can't tell. Not small. Not small, not huge. Probably a medium fish. It's my guess. I don't know. It's dogging pretty good now. I tend to jack them up pretty good to start with a lot of times. It's kind of swimming in a circle like a burbot though. So is it going to be a burbot just doing, it's swimming in circles, it's not head shaking really. Is it going to be a burb? I feel like it's going to be a burbot. I'm not sure. Oh, might be a walleye. Oh no, it's a nice walleye. Hopefully an upgrade because I think Carter might be beating me. Don't think it's an upgrade though. Don't think it's an upgrade. 
but we'll make we'll, we'll make Carter sweat. We'll make him sweat. We'll pretend. We'll pretend it's an upgrade. Here, we'll go like this. We'll go like this. Measure it. There, it's gonna be an upgrade. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now we'll turn so we can't see it. We'll show it off like this, and we'll make him sweat. But I think he, I think he has me by like a quarter of an inch. I think, or a half an inch. He's at like an 83, I think, and I'm probably like at 82 and three quarters or 82 and a half. I think we could be tied too. I'm not not 100 sure, but that'll make him sweat anyway. Uh oh, Carter, where did you get? Uh, you'll have to wait and see. I honestly, at this stage in the night or day, forget what my 26s were. I can't remember whether they were 26 and three quarters or 26 and a half or 26 and a quarter, but I feel like one of them was 26 and a half and one of them was 26 and a quarter. If that's the case, I'm pretty sure I'm down a quarter of an inch, I think. Math is hard when you're, when you're fishing like this. It's either way, it's just, like I said, it's more, it's more fun than anything. I'm back at home in the garage. All the gear is unloaded. It's drying out. What a great day. That was, that was it after the, the last fish I think I caught. We maybe had some, some other marks and whatnot. It, was, uh, it wasn't a strong evening bite, but it was a strong bite for the day. For myself especially, Carter had a good day. He had quite a few big ones on too that sadly got off, which may or may not be in the video or maybe some pieces of it will be. Adam had a tougher day for uh, bigger fish and that's how it goes sometimes, right? Like if you're just not in the hot spot in the hot, one, uh, the hot area, he just never had opportunities. He didn't even lose a big fish. He probably didn't even see a big fish. It's really hard to say, right? At the end of the day, he did move over and it just wasn't happening there anymore. And Carter had moved over too though, right? Like Carter got one there and the one earlier and then moved over, but anyways, I do want to say a special thanks to Adam for he actually went out the day before and located some fish so we could go do this one versus one versus one. He's like, I'm going to go try to find some fish. Crushes a mega giant, uh, 31 incher. I think it was 31, 31 inches even or 30 and three quarters, something like that. But it was like 12.6 pounds, which is his PB for weight, not for length, but his PB for weight. So thank you so much, Adam. I appreciate everything you do for me and Carter and uh, making sure that we were gonna be on fish today. I appreciate it very much. And anything else in the video, it's probably all over the map. It's a one versus one versus one, I'm not gonna lie. Trying to keep GoPro batteries just going between mine and Adam's hat and keeping them warm. It was just a struggle bus all day. I'm already dreading editing this video. It's gonna be a nightmare, but it was a fun one versus one versus one. Not a lot of strategy talk or tactical talk just because we're going fishing. But most importantly, thank you everybody for watching. We're starting to close in on 100,000 subscribers. When I do this, it's 95,000, so I appreciate it very much. If you're not subscribed and you do watch, go subscribe. And if you don't want to, it don't matter because to me, it's just a number. Numbers don't mean that much. It's more about everything else. Thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget, get outside.